This is a presentation of the Oklahoma Sports Network. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the Oklahoma Sports Network's consent is prohibited. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be used without express written consent. Welcome in to the Oklahoma Sports Network, and it's state basketball time for 6A. We're live from Brooks Walton Activity Center here in Skyatook, Oklahoma. I'm Colton Fleetwood alongside Jordan Ray, and we have got a great matchup for you. It's the final game of the night, the Dell City Eagles against the Santa Fe Wolves. And Jordan, both of us have gotten to watch Dell City play a lot this season. They are the odds-on favorite, according to the Daily Oklahoman. But Santa Fe feels like they have a good shot. This is a team that's playing good basketball right now. They've come off a couple good wins. So what do you think Santa Fe has to do to match up against Dell City size that has overwhelmed so many people? I think they got to shoot from the perimeter. I think they got to rebound on the defensive end. And Edmund Santa Fe plays a lot of zone. Dell City is a great offensive rebounding team. Those usually don't match very well. A zone does match up well against sh uh, teams that don't shoot great, and that is, that is Dell City. So. It might be a little give and take there. So it, it, a big thing is also, will Dell City hit their shots? And so uh, we'll see. Yeah, and that has been a storyline as of late for Dell City. They've not been shooting the ball from the field particularly well. They've been able to win games by playing defense. Broken Arrow, a great example. That game came down to the wire, and it was a defensive play that actually ended the game with a steal uh, by Sherrod Davis. So for Dell City to be able to not only just win this game, but even make a run for a state championship, how vital is it for a player like Keandre Young to start getting it, getting it going from the field? That's the question for Dell City. Can they score enough? 45 points was enough against Broken Arrow. It might be enough against Edmund Santa Fe, but would it be enough against an Owasso or an Edmund Memorial or a Norman North? I'm not so sure. So Keandre Young could definitely help with that because he can light it up when he gets on fire. Absolutely. Well, we are going to find out, folks. We've got the tip-off here coming up here in just a little bit, so don't go anywhere. You're watching Dell City Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Sports is your leader in team sports, specializing in outfitting the entire team with screen printing, embroidery, team sports uniforms using dye sublimation from start to finish. They are truly your one-stop shop. With over 13 years of experience, you can trust the job will be done right with all work done in-house. Fallout Sports, 534 North Penn, phone 405-701-5933. Welcome back to Middell State Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Great to be joined again by Dell City head coach Lenny Hatchett. Uh, coach Hatchett, so you've been in state now. This is your fifth year. And anything different about, you know, your routine this year or, or practices, your mentality for practices, any different there? 
No, we try to keep the same routine. You know, of course, practices will vary and change up every now and then. But, you know, I try to keep the same routine of what we're doing with our guys and, and uh, just kind of keeping them focused on, on game one on Thursday. Uh, I noticed that, I mean, all your, your players have been playing. You haven't had any key injuries as far as, you know, affecting players not playing. But as far as your players who have been playing, um, are they, for the most part, pretty healthy or just, you know, a few bumps and bruises, but that's it? Oh no, we're we're, we're pretty healthy. Um, we had, a, you know, this practice has been pretty good. They're they're pretty energized and taking care of their bodies, and that's been an important factor all week. Um, anything from the last, from you know, the Broken Arrow game or the Tulsa Union game again that, um, you know, you want to emphasize that your team needs to do the same or different, you know, heading into state and possibly playing three games in three days. I just think they I think they they starting to figure out, you know, how important every possession is, you know, and, uh, you know, you got to take care of the basketball. You got to, uh, you know, you got you got to play sound and, and you got to play smart on both ends. And, uh, and we were way, able to find those ways uh, second half against Broken Arrow. And hopefully we can continue that into Thursday. And what do you think about Edmund Santa Fe? You used to coach there for several years ago. You led him to a state championship game in 2015. Obviously, all the players are different now. So, uh, what are your thoughts on the Wolves? Extremely tough and athletic. Um, you know, the Kobe kid they have is, is a really good player. And they've got some other pieces around him that they, they just they buy into, you know, coach coach philosophy, and they do a good job. You know, they're gonna be they're gonna be a handful, and they wouldn't be here if they weren't good. So, we know we got our hands full with them. All right, coach. Well, I'm gonna let you go so you can um, keep focusing on your drive. And okay. uh, we look forward, though, to seeing your team in action uh, against some more good 6A competition. Yes, sir. I appreciate you covering us again, and uh, we look forward to it. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. When we come back, more coverage of the game. You're, talk, you're, um, you're watching Middale Playoff Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. to see this place all right i got this app would you like to tour the house <laughs> yes please would you like to tour the house <laughs> we're here dude house for sale home for sale home for sale home for sale home for sale we've got a home available now Good evening, everybody, and welcome in to the Oklahoma Sports Network. I'm Colton Fleetwood alongside Jordan Ray, and we are just about underway here. Four minutes left until the ball game starts, and uh, folks, we're just fired up. We've been here all day. We broadcasted all the games. This is the first game we've actually gotten to broadcast uh, for the Oklahoma Sports with the Oklahoma Sports Network, rather. So we're excited, Jordan. You know, I know we've already kind of talked a little bit about it in the pregame. You heard it, but I just want to go into more detail about these two teams. Yes, yeah, so uh, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. We called the first three games of this state tournament. It's been a lot of fun of this uh, 6A boys side. So we're going to start with Dell City. Lenny Hatchett in his fifth year. He's made state all five years. His first time to make state in 6A. Last state appearance was last year where they were heavily favored to win in 5A before COVID canceled the tournament. And their uh, re record against 6A state tourney teams is 2-2. Two and two. They defeated Edmund North by about 20 points a few weeks ago. And, of course, they also beat Broken Arrow. Their losses are to Edmund Memorial. And they also uh, lost a game earlier in the season to Putnam City North. So they've played all the teams that are remaining in this tournament, except for the team they're about to play now, Edmund Santa Fe. 
And when you look at Dell City's playoff uh, record so far, as far as scores go, you can see that they've, their defense has been really good, twice giving up 40 points or less. A lot of 55 points to Tulsa Union, but they were in confirmed control of that game. Now, what about their opponent, Edmund Santa Fe? Interestingly enough, Coach Hatchett used to coach at Santa Fe for several years before he went to Dell City yeah. after the end of the 2016 season, and he really turned Dell City around because they were in bad shape at that point. Edmund Santa Fe, they're now coached by Troy Lalaman in his second year. He's been very helpful for us. Their last state appearance was 2018. The last time they won a state title was 2005 with Obi Manello and Ekbi, Ekbi Uppo, if I remember that name correctly. I believe they were juniors on that team. Yeah. Their record in this against 6 8 state tourney teams is 1 in 5. They lost twice to Memorial, including in for area. Lost twice to Norman North. And uh, they actually did beat Broken Arrow earlier in the season. And I believe they have, oh, they also lost to Edmund North. But they've been playing a lot better down the stretch, uh, except for that Edmund Memorial loss. As you can see there, they have been, their, their team has been more and more healthy. They, uh, first, and plus football, you know, the football season ended late, and Edmund Santa Fe made it to the state title game in football. So they had some football players that were not available to them for a while. And you can look at their scores as well. Yeah, they had a hard time scoring against that 3-2 zone for Edmund Memorial as well, as a lot of teams do. But they came up well, with a big win against Mustang the next day, scoring 72 points. So what type of outing will that be? That's the question. What type of Edmund Santa Fe team will we see? The team that scored 42 points against Edmund Memorial or the team that scored 72 points against Mustang? Yeah, you're right. And, uh, you know, we've seen some craziness today, Jordan, uh, all day long. You know, Edmund Memorial and Broken Arrow, uh, it was tight. The score, you know, didn't necessarily show how tight it really was. Uh, we saw Owasso and, uh, and I'm sorry, who was it? Uh, Owasso and uh, Putnam City North. Putnam City North, thank you. There's so and many games. Yes, yeah. I'm <laughs> getting lost track here. But that game was tight, came down to the wire. Owasso missed a shot at the, uh, at the buzzer to win the basketball game. And, you know, it's just it's been one of those days. So anything can happen. And, of course, in 5A today, we – most people may not have heard the news, but Ardmore upset Tulsa Memorial. I know some of these Dell City kids would be happy to hear that, but uh, you know that we're seeing all kinds of crazy things. Dell City has to come out ready to play because uh, at this stage of the game, if you're not playing your best, that's when you get beat. Yeah, you have a little margin for error now. You're not playing against any bad teams, teams that may have weaknesses, but they also have a lot of strengths. So you, you can't have a bad stretch for too long or else it could put you in a hole. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the starters. And, of course, we've seen um, we've seen Dell City starting lineup for quite a while. But interestingly for Edmund Santa Fe, we have another set of brothers, twin brothers, Talon Shetron and Tabri Shetron. They're both very good athletes, football players, and – they have a lot of good athletes across the board. They're not a great shooting team normally, but they've gotten better at it. That was really a weakness for them uh, last season. And one of the reasons why they, they had a lower seed than they normally get. They were, they were a nine seed in the West last year. This year they were a four seed. So their coach, who I think is a really good young coach, he's the youngest coach, the most inexperienced head coach in this tourney field. But he had Troy Lalaman was an assistant coach at three years for Edna Memorial, so that's a great guy to learn under, of course, is Shane Coward, and maybe they'll be matched up one more time, but the teacher got the better of the pupil in the last game for Memorial when they beat Edmund Santa Fe in area. So we'll see if uh, Coach Lalaman can get the Wolves moving in the right direction in this game. The big thing here for Dell City, as you see their starting lineup as well with Davis Young, McAllister, McMorris, and Garrison. Can they make their shots against Edmund Santa Fe zone? Edmund Santa Fe, like Edmund Memorial, zones a lot. And in fact, their coach told me that they feel much more comfortable and they feel more knowledgeable playing a zone than they do a man-to-man. -man. The Eagles are getting introduced on the floor now. And, you know, uh, 
folks, it's a school night, so we understand uh, a lot of you probably couldn't make it to the basketball game tonight. And I also want to make sure and just mention, I said it a couple times during the other games, but this, I'm just, I've been so amped up today because a year ago, tomorrow I guess it was, uh, we were supposed to be going to state. I was about to leave and, and Dell City was already uh, exiting, on uh, making their exit, and that's yep. when we got that phone call. And uh, it's something I'll never forget. We didn't get to crown a champion last year. Dell City had a great shot at it. We're going to crown a champion this year. Dell City's road to the, to the gold ball starts right now. And Edmund Santa Fe has a lot to say about that as well. So Brandon Garrison will be taking the tip for Dell City. And uh, this is this is going to be Tabry Shetron taking the tip for Edmund Santa Fe. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back and get comfortable, but not too comfortable. It's Mid-Dell basketball time, Dell City Eagle basketball time, I should say, on the Oklahoma Sports Network. I'm Colton Fleetwood alongside Jordan Ray, and here we go. The opening tip is won by Brandon Garrison. Straight back to Keandre Young. He steps inside the three-point line for a two-point jumper off the back iron. No good. It's rebounded by Joe Adams, and Adams will bring the ball up the floor, up the floor into the front court for Edmund Santa Fe. He's covered by McMorris. He tries to get the ball to Talon Chetron. He was covered by Young. Young tried to go for the steal. Now he challenges him. Goes up and shoots a wild shot off the backboard. No good. Rebounded by McMorris, and now Young brings it into the front court. Gets the ball down to McAllister. And there we see Edmund Santa Fe in a 2-3 zone. They want to put Davis in the high post. That's a good shot, but he's got to make his share. Sherrod Davis was no good on that shot. McAllister from the near wing, or from the far wing, rather, sends the ball down to the free throw line to Davis. Davis has it, picks up his dribble, now sends it to McAllister on the far wing. McAllister's going to shoot the three. No, off back iron. A one-armed rebound by Garrison. He gets it. Now he sends a long pass to the far side to Young. Now back inside to McAllister. McAllister going to try and challenge shoot a floater that was blocked. And now it's recovered by Talon Chetron of Edmund Santa Fe. They want to get down the floor quick. Michael Reeves on the challenge. Goes up with the right hand around the rim. No good. Brandon Garrison gets the miss. So both teams missing pretty good looks, but they're getting good looks. And sometimes that just is uh, some maybe early in the game jitters for both these teams. Well, I'm expecting a low-scoring game. This has the recipe for one. Neither team great at shooting the ball. They do have great athletes who defend well. McMorris, the basketball at the top of the key. He drives in, shoots the floater, barely grazes the front of the rim, and is rebounded by Talon Chetron. Talon Chetron crosses over on McMorris. Now he drops. Oh, man, how that's not a travel, I'm not sure. McMorris has it now. It's tied up on the floor. We're going to get a jump ball called. Probably Santa Fe's ball since Dell City won the tip. And immediately, Edwin Santa Fe makes a sub. That's one of the, probably the quickest sub we've seen today. Yeah, bringing in Jaden Sincota. Sincata, I'm sorry, Jaden Sincata is who comes into the basketball game for Edmund Santa Fe. Just a sophomore. Sincata, the guy that gets the basketball on the inbound from underneath the basket. Garrison out there to cover him. Tried to get the ball up there to Talon Chatron. The ball was deflected by Garrison, but Reeves is able to get to it. Garrison covering him closely. Now we've got a traveling violation being called on the Wolves. And Young will inbound. Yeah, both teams looking really rusty, but again, they're both teams rely heavily on their defense. McAllister brings the ball in the front court. McMorris has it. He's covered by Reeves. Gets it off to Davis. Davis covered by Oni Kugu. That's a fun one to say. McAllister at the free throw line sends it over to the far wing to McAllister. Right back to or right back to McAllister. McMorris has it now. McAllister acts like he's going to shoot the three. Now he'll try and go on the drive. Passed underneath to Davis. Davis goes up, was partially blocked by Onokuru. Now Onokuru has the ball. He brings it into the front court, covered by Davis. Nice crossover move on Davis, all the way to the rim with the left hand, too strong. Rebounded by Garrison. A wild pass by Garrison to Young. He retrieves it. Young going to pull up at the three-point line. It's switched the three. And finally, we have some points on the board, and it comes from Keandre Young. From They're going to call it a two-point shot. Forgive me. Keandre Young had his toe on the line. It's a two-point shot, but nonetheless, Keandre Young on the board. And now the take to the basket by Michael Reeves, and he scores, and he's fouled in the act. He'll go to the line to try and make it a three-point play. Well, what a welcome sight for Dell City to see Keandre Young make a shot from the perimeter, which is something he didn't do a lot of it in the last two games. And then Reeves comes back, does a really good job using his body there. 
That's what you have to do against the shot blockers of Dell City. The foul is on Brandon Garrison. That's the first foul of the game. We're three minutes into the game, tied at two. Reeves trying to give Santa Fe the lead with this free shot. And he does not. He misses it. It went around the rim no good. Rebounded by McMorris, and he gives it off to McAllister. Well, there's to see how Dell City uses their bench. They didn't use their bench a ton against Broken Arrow. Garrison has the ball in the far corner. Gets the ball underneath to McMorris. McMorris with a nice spin move, but the shot was missed badly, and it's basically thrown out of bounds. It was well under thrown, under undershot rather, and so a turnover. Coach Lullaman happy about that. And McMorris has not looked very comfortable on his shots so far. Reeves the basketball, bringing it into the front court. He's covered by McAllister. Hands it off to Adams, and Adams gives it up to Onikuru. Onikuru down to Talon Chetron. Chetron, a contested shot goes in. And a hard tumble there for Garrison. Hopefully everybody's okay. Everyone is. They're popping up just fine. A little gimpy as Garrison, but hopefully he'll be okay. 4-2 to two, the score. Dell City struggling from the field. That's been the story for their last three games. They found ways to win on the defensive end. And Sherrod Davis going to go off the backboard, bank it in. And Sherrod Davis on the board ties the game back up at four. A long pass to Onikuru, and it went off of his leg. And that will be a turnover for Santa Fe. Yeah, so they did a good job, Dell City, in attacking the zone again. They like Davis in the high post. And that's a shot they can get against a 2-3 zone. The referees are having some sort of a discussion here. It's definitely off Edmund Santa Fe, but uh, oh, yeah. they may be discussing something else. No question. Young will inbound from the near side in the backcourt. The referees are still talking to the scores table, so we have a minute. We would play, we've played exactly half of a quarter, so we're an eighth of the way through. While we have a minute, I might as well go ahead and tell you about our first quarter sponsor. It's Ben Osinga from Allstate Insurance. For your life and home insurance needs, call Ben at 405-733-4400. Thank you, Ben Osinga, for what you do for the Oklahoma Sports Network and Middell Basketball. McMorris has it. He gets it to Young. Young is able to scoop it up like a shortstop and shoot the jumper no good off the front of the rim. Onikuru brings the ball into the front court. He's covered by McMorris. He loses the handle on it. Garrison has it. Two-on-one opportunity here. McAllister, he was a pass kind of behind him. McAllister going to shoot the floater. It rolls off the rim and in. And so McAllister on the board. 7-4, Dell City with 3.30 left here in the first quarter. Tell you, anything they get from McAllister, especially in the running in the transition game, will be really important. Reeves on the drive. Goes up with the left hand too strong. Davis has it. Dell City trying to go on an odd man advantage. A nice pass underneath to Young. Young was able to throw it off of a Santa Fe player, so they will keep the possession. I think that Young thought he was pushed. But Dell City does keep the possession. It was a nice job by Young to send it in there. I'm not even sure how that pass got through. The pass is going to go out to Keandre Young for the near wing. It's a shot off the back of the iron, no good. Rebounded by Adams. Adams gets the ball to Onikuru. He brings it into the front court slowly. He's covered by McMorris. Reeves has it covered by Young. He's trying to go down low. Now he ends up getting a pass underneath to Onikuru. He blows the bunny, and Davis gets it. He's going to get the ball to McAllister. I mean, Awakuru made a good cut on Onikuru. But again, when you try to finish around the paint against Del City, you're thinking about their length, and it affects your ability to make the, uh, the, the shot as Davis scores again. Sherrod Davis scored on a second chance opportunity, 9-4. Sherrod Davis, will, you, nobody's going to outwork him. I can promise you that. He outworks everyone. This is by far a much better first quarter for Dell City, actually, than their Broken Arrow game. Tell Shetron went up, blocked hard by Keandre Young, but it was Onikuru who got the miss, and he went up, and he scored. It's 9-6, to six, and Onikuru is now on the board for Edmund Santa Fe, and he is probably their most important player, I would think. McAllister has the ball at the top of the key, signals out the play, to his offense. Now he'll drive in, pull up at the jumper. No good off the back iron. Dell City and Santa Fe, neither one, are shooting the basketball well from beyond the arc or even uh, from the field at all. 9-6 to six our score. Dell City has found ways to score on second chance opportunities thus far. Reeves going to drive in, 
He had a decent look at it, but he got stripped away. Oni Kuru tried to go up with a one-hand dunk, and Keandre Young said no, sir. And Terry McMorris has it. He gets the ball to McAllister, and McAllister will slow things down and bring it into the half-court offense. Now a pass to Young. Young wasn't looking for it, but catches it. Gives it right back to McAllister. That was a typical Dell City possession. You get past one long guy, you got another to deal with. It was Garrison who popped up and shot the jumper just inside the free throw line. No good out the front of the iron. And now here comes Santa Fe going the other way. Oni Kuru gets a nice pass underneath, and it's swatted away by Garrison. He tried to go with Tabor Shetron, and it was just a mistake because Garrison's down there. He baited in the whole way and blocked it. One minute left here in the first quarter, and it's 9-6. to six, Del City on top. Okay, Garrison moves his feet so well. He, that's... That's a big part of blocking shots. It's not just about being tall. you got to move well. you got to anticipate well. And Garrison does that. And I think it's good for Dell City to hold for the last shot. Six-point quarter for Edmund Santa Fe. That, that's good for the Dell City psyche as their defense has very much shown up this game. McAllister gets the ball to McMorris. 30 seconds left. Go ahead, Jordan, if you had something. Go well, ahead. And that's just why uh, Dell City can win without shooting well. You know, they don't have to shoot well to beat a lot of these teams. They may have to shoot well to beat a team like Edmund Memorial or PC North. That's who the winner faces, by the way, is PC North. A lot of times they can win games low scoring because their defense will always be consistent. Seven seconds to go here. Keandre Young has it. He's going to draw a double team, and now it's going to go to McAllister. McAllister going to shoot the three. Kind of an off-balance three, but it goes for Davion McAllister to end the quarter high for Dell City. 12-6 to six our score after one, and Dell City needed that from McAllister. He hit one just like that last week. It was much needed. 12-6, to six. we'll be right back. You're watching Middell Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. that new F-150? Yep. Where'd you go? Greg Darnell Ford. How was it? Darn good! We've got darn good deals with 0% interest for 72 months on most 2020 models. F-150s as low as $459 a month. Escapes as low as $349 a month. Fusions as low as $319 a month. There's a new sheriff in town, and I'm laying down the law on low prices. Welcome back, everybody, to the Oklahoma Sports Network. We just finished our first quarter. Dell City on top, 12 to 6 over Edmond Santa Fe. Neither team shot the ball well, but Dell City found ways to find second chance opportunities. And then Javion McAllister finished on a high note with a three pointer to end the quarter. Checking into the, checking into the game, rather, for Dell City is going to be Demarius Veely. He's running the point, gets the ball to McMorris. Young going to shoot a three from the far corner, in and out, no good. And it's rebounded, I believe, by Adams. Adams sends it ahead to Reeves. Reeves going to try and go one-on-one -on -one against Garrison. He finally gets Garrison up in the air, and he tried to draw a foul, did not do it. McMorris says he went straight up. The referees believe him. No foul called. Beely has it, and he brings it into the front court. So Del C or, I'm sorry, Edmund Santa Fe went man the previous defensive possession, but here they are back in the zone. Garrison has it at the free throw line. Now he'll attack with the left hand, left it short. And McMorris went in there fighting for the basketball, but he knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Santa Fe possession, 721 in the second. That's the type of shot that if Garrison works on to hit that shot with consistency, he can, be, he can have a lot of success as a scorer in the future. Not his main role right now as, as a sophomore, but I think next year he'll be called upon to score a lot more. Adams the basketball covered by Davis. He gets rid of it, sends it into Tetron, Talon Tetron. And now Willie Watkins has the basketball. He just checked into the game to start the quarter. Beely and Reeves going one-on-one. -on -one. Reeves goes around him. McMorris is there for the help. And now there's going to be a foul called on Veely. That'll be his first. It's actually not a bad foul by Veely because it looked like uh, as a Ramsey with the ball there, he was about to go in for a shot because uh, McMorris had gotten knocked out of the way. I'm sorry, that was Michael Reeves talking about it. 
Talon Chetron has the basketball. Nice spin move, but <laughs> an even nicer block by Young. Davis coming the other way. Odd man Adanis sends it back to Garrison, and he puts in the two-hand slam, and Del City gets their first points here of the second quarter, now at 14-6. Coach Lolliman talking to the official, trying to get a call out of him here. Young gets the basketball on a steal. Here comes Del City again in transition. McMorris has it. McMorris will slow it up. Now he's going to go back and throw kind of a uh, left-handed awkward pass, but Young was able to get it. Veely has it, thought about shooting the three, and decides otherwise, and now they'll go into their half-court offense. You know, when they're playing like this, an eight-point lead feels huge. Garrison with the jumper from the free throw line. Yes, sir. And that's an important shot because that really will break up Edmund Santa Fe's zone, that high post shot there. And that's wow. going to be a goal, 10, but, boy, that was impressive. Boy, Garrison got up. The ball was going to go in, though, and I think Garrison uh, just jumped up there. Just, It's impressive the fact that he was able to do that. And, 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 Jordan, you touched on this earlier in a game. You don't see a whole lot of goal tens in high school basketball, but we've seen a couple tonight. No, we, we, well, you had, um, was it Anthony Allen from Broken Arrow? I forgot who, who had the uh, goaltending in a recent game. But when you got guys who can jump high or they got a lot of length, then, yeah, as a ref, you have to be prepared for the possibility that there might be a goaltending. That was close, though. That was close. Young gets the ball, sends a right-handed pass off balance to Garrison. Garrison was able to catch it, and he sends a shot up, but it's short, and an over-the-back call going to be called on Garrison. That's going to be two fouls on Garrison. He fouled out, I believe, of the last Dell City game that we called against Broken Arrow, if I'm not mistaken. As Davis will come in for him. Sherrod Davis, yes, will come in. They already have Foreman coming in for Dell City, so they have their backup big man, so... I mean, Davis, of course, is really a front court player who will play the guard position some, but not very small life at all for Dell City, even though they're taking Garrison out. Coach Tommy Griffin having a word over there as we get a foul call. Was that, I think that was away from the ball. McMorris fell Close. down hard, but I didn't think he committed the foul. But uh, well, The referees don't know who the foul is on. They're going to have a conversation here as they meet near midcourt right around the S logo. Now they will call the foul. And they will call it on whom? I didn't see. They called Foreman. the ball on Foreman. Interesting. I didn't see what he did. I don't think Coach Hatchett saw what he did either. Well, that's, that's four fouls on Dell City. Edmund Santa Fe has not been called for a foul yet. Of course, that's one of the benefits of going zone. You don't foul as much. Tibby Shetchon traveled, yes. Yeah, he went in there. And again, you, you go into the paint on Dell City and you pick up your dribble and we call it no man's land, right, Jordan? You're just, no. especially with these twin towers, and you pick up your dribble, you're just not in a good spot. And he traveled right there. 520 left in the second quarter. It's 16 to 8, Dell City on top. You go into the lane against Dell City, you just have too much to think about sometimes. Young going in with the left hand off the bat off the glass too hard. Didn't hit the rim. Reeves has it. Reeves gonna attack Veely. Now he's gonna attack Morris or McMorris and McMorris swats him away. How many blocks is that? Davis now driving. He loses the basketball. Gonna call a blocking foul. The block will go on Talon Chetron, and that is the first foul of the ball game on Edmund Santa Fe. Yeah, that's a great use of the foul. If you head to the second quarter, you have no team fouls, which means obviously you don't have any fouls on yourself as an individual player. Then uh, go ahead and use one there, and that way your defense has a chance to set up. I don't know if that was the thinking or the intention there, but that's the result. We have a 30-second timeout called by Edmund Santa Fe. So the winner of this game, of course, will have PC North the late game tomorrow. And uh, Dell City, they're in fine form, winning kind of ugly, <laughs> but effective. Doing it on the defensive end, not the offensive end. And... Uh Kind of the same thing here tonight. They scored some points on second chance opportunities, scored in transition a couple times, but really the only shot from outside came from JV on McAllister from three-point range to end the first quarter. And then Garrison hit one from the free throw line at the elbow. But, you know, it's really been uh, their defense that's been getting it done. I think they've had five blocks. Uh, well, we've seen all their, their, their triple towers get involved, if you will. Young, McA um, McMorris, and Garrison all have block shots this uh, half. So with just under five minutes to go here in the half, Dell City has possession. McAllister will inbound underneath his own goal. And he'll throw it into Veely on the far wing. Veely gets the ball to Young. Young being covered by Reeves. And he'll just fling it over there to McAllister. McAllister has it at the top of the key to Veely to the far wing. 
Now sends it down to the low block area to Foreman, and he traveled. Well, this is actually a very guard-heavy lineup for Dell City, so they need to have good possessions out of it. I think Foreman had the right idea. He just started moving his feet too quickly before he started to dribble. Oni Kuru brings the ball into the front court, gives the ball up to Sincata. Sincata gives it up to Reeves. Reeves on a crossover move to Foreman. Foreman stuck with him really good, though, and blocked the shot. And Davis has it, gets it over to Vili. Dell City might want to go fast here. Vili went fast into the front court. Now he decides to slow up. That was a great job by Foreman of moving his feet, staying in front of the ball, of the ball handler and forcing a tough shot. It's not just the uh, triple towers that defend, of course, for Dell City. They all defend. McAllister was looking for someone to pass it to. Young wasn't looking. Finally, he does. He gets the basketball right back to McAllister. Young has it on the far wing. Down low to Davis. Davis puts one ball, one dribble on the ground. Did not make the shot. It was too strong. Going to get a foul called. I believe going to go on Foreman. That's going to be his second. Over the back foul. It's five team fouls, so that's something that I think Dell City wants to avoid. When you're defending really well, you don't want to start sending a team to the free throw line, so they have one foul to give before that would happen. Onikuru will inbound underneath his own goal. Gets it into Talon Shetron. Right back to Onikuru. Onikuru has yet to get going, really. Well, nobody has really got going yet for Edmund Santa Fe, but Onikuru is who they need. A three-point opportunity here, going to be airballed and missed. Vili comes up with it. Vili rushing the floor, has a chance at an on-man opportunity. Young going to be on the near side for three. Short, no good. Davis gets the miss. Davis now going to go to war downtown. Couldn't quite get there, and Onikuru gets the miss, and he traveled. Boy. Uh, McAllister helped force, I mean, McMorris, but I want to keep wanting to call McAllister, forced that travel. We see Sherrod Davis. Remember how big he was on the offensive glass against Tulsa Union? Yes. He started to do that here, but Del City needs to finish some of these opportunities. They've been in a bit of a scoring drought here. Gets the ball into Davis. Now to Vili on the, on the near wing. Vili being covered by Reeves, and he'll dribble out to the S. That stands for Skyatuk. That's where we are here in the Tulsa area. This beautiful activity center. McAllister on a nice crossover move, drives in, then kicks it back out to Young. Now Young going to take it. Young off balance, tried to shoot it. It was blocked. Blocked hard as well. And then McMorris tried to go up. The block was by Tabri Shetron, but there was a foul called. McMorris got the miss, and then there was a foul on Edmund Santa Fe. You know, if Keandre Young is going to drive hard to the left like that, he needs to be able to finish with his left hand. Kind of like what we saw from uh, Hayden Fry from Owasso earlier today. A right-handed player who did a great job of using his left hand throughout the game. Vili going to shoot the three from the near wing, and he puts it in. 19-8 to eight our score. The sophomore coming up big in a big game. Onikuru has the basketball. He's covered by McMorris. This is a fun matchup to see. Two big athletes. McMorris challenging him here. Onikuru now, he's looking for help. Vili tried to go for the steal as he gave it to Javen Sincata. Sincata now looking for help as now there's a trap, and finally Onikuru was able to get rid of it. Got it back to Reeves. Reeves goes down to Tabri Shetron. Shetron shot the shot, but he left it short. Now McAllister has it. He's going to bring it into the front court. He's going to just pull, pop, and shoot off the back iron. No good. And, boy, there was a big contest for that rebound, and Edmund Santa Fe finally going to get one. Edmund Santa Fe's having to work very hard for every rebound so far. Reeves went to the basket, then cocked it out to the far corner. Now, I think Talon uh, Shetron may have lost it on his own, but they're going to say it was knocked out of bounds by a Dell City player. Wouldn't it be something if Dell City holds Edmund Santa Fe below 10 points for the entire half? And that's what we're looking at right now. And there's still a lot of time left. Of course, Edmund Santa Fe just needs to hit one more basket, but they, they are struggling to get good looks right now on the Wolves. Crutchfield. Ladarius Crutchfield, the six-foot senior, checks in for Dell City, wearing number 10. He's on the near side covering Jaden Sincata. McMorris playing basket, or playing defense rather on Reeves. Now there's going to be a three-point from the far side and no good. Rebounded by Onikuru. Onikuru going to try and go up. He went up wild with no shot. Now another offensive rebound here. And Edmund Santa Fe putting in some work, working hard, and they're going to get rewarded for it by going to the line. It will be Colby Onakuru going to the line. Finally, they needed to get him going, Jordan, and, and yeah. he's finally maybe going to get to see the ball go through the hoop, and that's big for him because he is really their, their main source of size at six foot four. 
Oh, he's very strong. And Okuru was was sealing off his side for the offensive rebound, and he got it there. Colby makes the first. It's a 10-point game at 19-9. Foreman going to come back into the game for Davis. McAllister has the basketball after the second free shot was missed by Colby Onikuru. Foreman has it at the free throw line. Back out to McAllister. Now to Crutchfield. Crutchfield down to Foreman. Foreman will shoot the jumper just inside the three-point line. Off back iron, no good. A contested rebound, but Onikuru, the athlete for Santa Fe, is able to get it. He gets it to Talon Chetron, and Talon finally has to slow down before he reaches midcourt. Now he'll bring it into the front court, covered by Crutchfield. He may try to attack here. He will. Goes up with the right hand too strong. And, boy, that, they're getting a couple good looks. They're just not able to finish. A long pass to Young. Young going to go up easily. The Santa Fe player never turned around, and Young went up with the right hand off the glass and scored. It's now 21-9. to nine. What makes this effective for Dell City, they're not shooting well, but at times they, their defense will give them transition opportunities, and they will try to take advantage of it like right there. And almost another steal. Almost another steal. Went out of bounds off of McMorris. 45.9 seconds left here in the half. Checking into the game is Joe Adams for Talon Chetron. Reeves will inbound from underneath his own goal. He gets it to Adams. Adams has it. He'll send it over to Reeves on the far side. Reeves going to act like he's going to shoot the three, and now he's going to ask for some help. Young was daring him to shoot the three there. He wouldn't have his hands up. Sincata has the basketball, gives it to Onikuru. Onikuru gets it back to Reeves. And Santa Fe seems like they want to try and run the clock, maybe to get the last shot of the half, trailing 21-9. to nine. Adams has an open shot if he wants it. Does not want it, apparently. He's covered by Young now. Young's still giving him quite a bit of room. Yeah, the, the Young's daring the Edmund Santa Fe guards to shoot. They don't want to at the moment. They want to try to get a basket in the paint. Reeves now looking for help. Gets the ball to Watkins. Watkins will shoot the three off back iron. No good. Four seconds still on the clock. And now here comes Young. Three, two, one. A pass to Crutchfield. Crutchfield away up at the buzzer. Ladarius Crutchfield. Boy, they look smooth right there. What the 15th Street, the Sunny Lane. That was beautiful. 23 to 9, Dell City on top. Jordan, go ahead. I was going to say, what an ending. And it, what I talked about two minutes ago happened. Single digits in the entire half for Edmund Santa Fe. And Dell City's defense is in fine form right now. And I got to say, when they're like this, a 14 point lead feels like a 30 point lead. So we go to the half, and Dell City's feeling really good about the way they're playing. They're overwhelming Santa Fe with their size right now. Edmund Santa Fe has to come up with something, and uh, they're going to go to the locker room and try to adjust. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back here in just a few moments. You're watching Middell Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. this you don't need to flash learning with VR finals baby you know I got this I got an A nailed it we did it Rose State College going somewhere starts here Hi, my name is Zach Knudsen. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Oklahoma City. I'm a specialist in hip and knee preservation, in particular cartilage restoration, uh, hip arthroscopy, minimally invasive procedures to try to salvage hips and knees and try to prevent them from going on to arthroplasty or joint replacement. Orthopedics is unique in that it is the ability to have somebody who's injured, their life has changed, and we fix them and they can go back to doing the things that they love. Escort Honda, we go the Escort mile for our customers with great Hondas and clearance pricing. Save big during the Honda clearance and get a 2020 Honda Civic Sport sedan for just $179 per month. Online at EscortHonda.com. 
Hudeburn, the dealership Oklahomans can count on. Why can't you count on them? Because they give their customers more. Oklahoma is growing, and Hudeburg is growing too, with five different brands and thousands of new and used vehicles. Hudeburg, 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 Hudeburg. Wow! It's been 60 years, and Hudeburg is still here. You can count on Hudeburg, we'll give you more. Hudeburg.com. You can count on Hudeburg, we'll give you more. Sports is your leader in team sports, specializing in outfitting the entire team with screen printing, embroidery, team sports uniforms using dye sublimation from start to finish. They are truly your one-stop shop. With over 13 years of experience, you can trust the job will be done right with all work done in-house. Fallout Sports, 534 North Penn, phone 405-701-5933. Did you get that new F-150? Yep. Where'd you go? Greg Darnell Ford. How was it? Darn good! We've got darn good deals with 0% interest for 72 months on most 2020 models. F-150s as low as $459 a month. Escapes as low as $349 a month. Fusions as low as $319 a month. There's a new sheriff in town, and I'm laying down the law on low prices. Can't wait to see this place. All right, I got this app. Would you like to tour the house? <laughs> yes. Please. Would you like to tour the house? <laughs> We're here, dude! House for sale! Home for sale! Home for sale! Home for sale! Home for sale! We've got a home! Available now! Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. It's a calling that's kept us free. It's a place to belong. What's the calling? It's doing a job that makes a difference. Serving your community and your country. It's part-time service where the impact is full-time. What's your calling? Air Force Reserve. At Eskridge Honda, we go the Eskridge Mile for our customers. Save big during the Honda clearance and get a 2020 Honda CRV LX for just $199 per month. That's going the Eskridge Mile online at EskridgeHonda.com. Welcome back, everybody, to the Oklahoma Sports Network. It's halftime here in Skyatook, Oklahoma. Dell City on top, 23-9 to over Edmond Santa Fe. And, uh, you know, Jordan, we talk about the Dell City defense. It wasn't necessarily pretty on the offensive end, but they just held Edmond Santa Fe uh, to nine points. And this is the state state tournament, you know what I mean? And that's, that's really darn impressive to hold a team to nine points. That shows you how overwhelming this defense can be, and their size has really gotten to the Wolves so far. Yeah, to put that in perspective, I believe Edmund Santa Fe had 72 points in their last game, which was a victory against Mustang. In fact, let me go ahead and double check for all of our viewers over there that are watching. And you will see, almost took the camera shot off there. And you will see that, um, yep, 72 points. So that's about 36 points a half. And in this game, Edmund Santa Fe scores four times less. We knew they'd score. We wouldn't score as much as 72 points. That's a big total uh, in playoff basketball. But it just shows you that Dell City is locked in on defense. They can test every shot. And when they can test a shot, it's really hard to get it off. And if you do, you're probably going to miss it. Right. And then so what, what, what's Dell City playing for? They're playing for a chance. 
Well, we hope to bring it up right here. To play Putnam City North tomorrow. And that would be an 8.30 game. We'll have it for you here. And Putnam City North beat Dell City earlier in the season by over 20 points. It was a blowout. And Dell City, they've really, you know, ramped up their game after that. Not just after that, but after several games. You know, they had a, a tough uh, tournament at Bishop McGinnis High School, losing to Choctaw and then Edmund Memorial, another team they may see. And so they've um, really been on a roll since then. That was their last loss. That was early January. So the only team that's gone longer without a loss in 6A boys is Edmund Memorial. Their, loss, their last loss was a day before Norman North. And Norman North is now out of the tournament. So uh, it's interesting to see Dell City struggle in offense, like you say, and yet look so good at times because <laughs> it's all about that scoreboard. So you can struggle on offense when the other team has only nine points. The shots you make are magnified that much more. And Dell City at times has been able to use their defense to get out in transition. They've hit a couple threes, you know, and, and that's enough to feel like they're in firm control of this game. Now, things can change in just a few minutes. 14 points is not impossible for Edmund Santa Fe, but they're going to have to start hitting some perimeter shots, I think, to get to Dell City. I think you're right, Jordan. You know, and we're talking about, you know, you heard we're going to have to, if Dell City wins this game, they will play Putnam City North. You know, and they got a long way to go. We're not trying to over, you know, overdo it here. But Putnam City North today, just it's worth mentioning, uh, had a player named Josh Nwanko. He's a six foot five senior. He scored 26 points tonight, and, and you know he looked really darn impressive. And whenever he challenged the hoop, uh, there wasn't too much that was going to stop him. And so th that will be a tough challenge for them. They have two guys that uh, are twins, Josh and Jeff Nwanko, both six five seniors. Both really talented players, and uh, you know Putnam City North looked pretty darn good today. Even though uh, their their star standout uh, sophomore Jeremiah Johnson is not going to be playing, we wish him well, obviously, but uh, he will not be able to play in the basketball game. But still, Putnam City North looked good. Dell City will have their hands full, but they still have their hands full here because we still have another half of basketball left to play. Dell City leads it 23 to nine, and we're just about underway here in the second half. Yep, Dell City still has a job to do. I can promise you that's exactly what Coach Hatchett said in the locker room. Hey, we're doing great, guys, but we're not done yet. Let's keep it going. And, you know, he's still over there preaching to his guys. And, you know, I think these guys have really bought in to Coach Hatchett. It's pretty clear. Uh, you know, I just I think it's their whole coaching staff. They have, quite frankly, I, th I heard uh, Captain John Kilty said this. Uh, I heard uh, in his speech to the players a couple days ago that – this team may have the very best coaching staff in the state of Oklahoma, and I, you know, you definitely have the best head coach according to NFHS. He won Coach of the Year, Coach Hatchett did. So, we're underway here. Reeves the basketball. He picks up his dribble and immediately turns it over as the double team came. McAllister has it, and he'll bring it into the front court. The third quarter starts just how uh, it, it went in the first half, pretty much the whole time. McMorris the basketball gets to McAllister on the on the near wing. Garrison has it underneath. Garrison tried to go underneath to Young. It was batted away. Good defense by the Wolves. Onikuru has it. He's going to be the one to bring it into the front court. For the Wolves to get back in the game, he is the key. Now, number, number 21, Colby Onikuru. One thing the Wolves need to do is when they get a steal like that, they need to try to find a way to get some transition points. They have the, they've had very few transition opportunities. It looks like Dell City's maybe going zone here. That's the best look that the Wolves have had in a while. They left it short. Garrison has the basketball, and he was fouled as he was trying to get up the floor. The foul, I think, went on Jaden Sincata. I'm you know, sorry. No, it didn't. It went on Colby Onakuru. That's his first. Now, I wish I watched Santa Fe's game against Mustang because that would have told me a lot about their players. But I, uh, instead, I watched their game against that Memorial because I wanted to get a good look at that Memorial. And they just didn't have a lot of offensive standouts in that game. And we're seeing that right here. They, they lack a, a scoring presence right now. Someone who has the confidence to take it to the basket like that Ooh. and finish. Beautiful move to the basket by Terry McMorris. And McMorris has the opening points of the second half. 25-9, Dell City on top. Talon Jetron has the ball in the far corner. Gets the ball off to Reeves. Reeves going to jump step all the way to the floor and score. That's a really nice take there by Michael Reeves. And a whistle going to be blown. And I think a timeout called by Santa Fe. 30-second timeout by Edmund Santa Fe. I think... Uh, Perhaps Coach Lalaman sees that possession and he's thinking, hey, here's we got to keep doing more of that. 
And Reeves, as the point guard, the best ball handler on the team, he's someone who can definitely do that. That was a very good attack to the basket because you have to be aggressive, you have to be quick and precise if you're going to try to get easy baskets against this Dell City defense. A quick timeout from Santa Fe. They're already back on the floor, ready to go. That timeout may have been to set up a press. In fact, yeah. it definitely is because that's – we yeah. haven't seen that from Edmund Santa Fe yet. Yeah, you got to try and figure something out to disrupt Dell City. You know, Dell City, they will turn the basketball over from uh, from now, you know, every once in a while. And so Santa Fe here, that's exactly what you're, you're right, Jordan. They're going to try and dial up a press here. Dell and Shetron challenging, and now they get the ball to McMorris. He's going to be challenged by Sincata. Dell City did a nice job getting the ball into the front court. Now a triple team as he picked up his dribble, gets the ball back to McMorris. McMorris has it, and he gets it to Young on the near wing. Young shoots the three, too strong. No good. Onukuru with a good box out on Garrison gets the miss. Onukuru brings the ball forward. Now an underhand pass underneath to Tabri Shetron. Now back to Onukuru. Onukuru tries to get the ball back to Reeves, and it was batted, but Reeves able to get to it. Reeves goes up, and he maybe was tripped. Oh. No, he traveled. Okay. Well, he definitely took a long step there. I didn't see what he definitely traveled, but uh, that would have been that would have been huge for Edmund Santa Fe if they could have gotten an N one, which is what a lot of the fans thought it was. Instead, it's another turnover. They've been turning the ball over quite a bit this game so far. McAllister with a good pass now underneath the Garrison. It was a bit behind Garrison, so Garrison has to stop, get the rid of the basketball, go back to McAllister. McAllister takes it to the top. Santa Fe looks like they're. No, they're, they're back in the zone. I couldn't tell for a second there. Dell City trying to spin the basketball around a little bit. Garrison has it. Now he rockets a pass into the corner to McMorris. McMorris going to go back to McAllister. McAllister thought about shooting the three, decided otherwise as Reeves closed quickly. Gets the ball to Garrison. Garrison will shoot from the free throw line. Too strong, no good. Oni Kuru, another rebound. Sends the ball into the corner to Reeves. Reeves. Catches the ball, shoots a three, no good. It grazed the back of the rim, and Young had the miss. 25-11, our score, five minutes in the third. And that's going to be an offensive foul on Sherrod Davis. He tried to go baseline, but it was great defense by Talon Shetron to step in front of him and make sure that he couldn't do it, and he drew the foul. Now, Shetron did a great job cutting off the baseline there. You know, right now, even though Dell City's in firm command, they really need to get good offensive possessions here because... You know, they're going to need to score more than 25 points at this point of the game to win state. It's working right now. It's not going to be like that every game. There's going to be a game where their opponent's starting to shoot well and they'll figure out ways to score. So I think Del City really needs to work on some offensive habits here. Bacchus has the basketball. He's in trouble. He gets the ball to Cheshron, Talon Cheshron. Now to Reeves. Reeves going to drive in. He's in trouble, though. No man's land with Garrison down there, and Garrison blocks him. Now he sends it to Davis. Davis on a breakaway. Davis thinking about dunking this bad boy, and he does with the right hand. Sherrod Davis, how he ended the last game. He does it again there, 27-11. to 11. And Garrison made that play. Not only does he block the shot, he gets it right back. He just takes it away from the Edmund Santa Fe player. Sincata for three, in and out, no good. Rebounded by McAllister. McAllister might want to push it a little bit. Gets the ball down low to Davis. Davis uses his body against Onikuru. Goes up too strong, no good. And a whistle going to be called and a foul on Garrison. It was an over-the-back call. And, and the referees third. are... Yeah, the referees are going to have a discussion. Uh, gets the play stood. So they call the foul on Garrison over the back. Well, I don't see third. it on the scoreboard yet as a foul. We'll see if that happens. Well, perhaps they took the foul off. Okay. That's the case. Garrison still only has two. Dell City leads it by 16, under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Talon Shetzer on the basketball. Tried to go baseline, and Sherrod Davis cut him off quickly. Bacchus has the basketball. Now back to Talon. Talon tries to go down low to Onikuru, and Onikuru had great position on Garrison and goes up for the two-hand sl two slam, and that gives Santa Fe something to cheer about. They've been desperately looking for something as now they trail by 14. Yeah, he did a great job sealing Garrison there, and that was a great post-entry pass. That combination is what made the dunk there. It's hard to get a dunk on Dell City, but they did on that play because it's really good execution. Now we have a steal. Talon Shetron had the steal, lost the basketball, but he keeps it. Now he goes to the rim and scores. Santa Fe with a little bit of momentum here. 
We're starting to hear from their fans. And it is concerning enough for Coach Hatchett. He's going to call a full timeout for Dell City. A full timeout. We'll take one ourselves. 27 15, Dell City on top. 3.05 left in the third quarter, but the Wolves are trying to come back. Stay with us. You're watching Mid Dell Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hi, my name is Zach Knudsen. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Oklahoma City. I'm a specialist in hip and knee preservation, in particular cartilage restoration, uh, hip arthroscopy, minimally invasive procedures to try to salvage hips and knees and try to prevent them from going on to arthroplasty or joint replacement. Orthopedics is unique in that it is the ability to have somebody who's injured, their life has changed, and we fix them and they can go back to doing the things that they love. Welcome back, everybody, to the Oklahoma Sports Network. We're in the third quarter here, 27-15, Dell City up by 12. The Wolves went on a little bit of a run here, but Dell City has possession. They'll inbound on the near side of the screen here in front of us. Davis gets the basketball, sends it into the corner to McMorris. McMorris dribbles it back out top to McAllister. Young has it now in the near corner. Garrison posting up down low. Now a nice pass back door to McAllister. McAllister left it short or it was deflected. Hard to tell from here. And now a Santa Fe player in trouble as he picks up his dribble and he gets the basketball forward to Bacchus. Bacchus now loses the basketball to Keandre Young. Keandre Young with a one-hand slam. And the momentum that Edmund Santa Fe had just went down the drain. 29-15. They need to hit a shot here. Oni Kuru thought about shooting a three. Now he will shoot the three. He airballs it. And Keandre Young has it. Hesitation threes usually don't go in. And when they do, you tip your hat to the player. McAllister gets a screen from Garrison, and he will be fouled as he was trying to go and attack the rim. Well, the main thing for Evan Santa Fe, the perimeter shooting just is not there. They have not hit a shot from the outside all game. And it's a simple point to make, but it really, it really is one of the main points here of this game. Sherrod Davis will come out and sit down for just a moment. Demarius Vealy will check into the basketball game. McAllister gets the inbound, and he sends it to Vealy. Vealy to Young, and Dell City might try to run a little clock here, possibly, with two minutes left in the third. I don't know if it's about running clock, but you definitely want a possession where you only take certain shots. You want to be very selective with your shot selection here. Young says, no, we're not running clock, Colton. He goes up and shoots a wild shot, though, and Reeves has it. Now Reeves is going to be ridden all the way down the floor by McAllister, and finally there was a whistle. I was waiting for the whistle for about five steps. Finally there was a call. McAllister rode him pretty good. So McAllister, that's only his first foul. Talon Shetron will inbound from the near side right in front of us. You know, still an issue for Dell City, not a big concern, but you know, Keandre Young, his, sh his shot in the half-court setting anyway is still not there. McMorris with the steal. McMorris with the steal. And I think he, sh well, he was fouled, but he scored anyway. They didn't call the foul, but he was hacked in the act. You know, when he gets a steal like that, I mean, he's supposed to be a long shot block blocker, but when he gets a steal like that, it gets it on open court. It just shows how much ability he has. Talon Shetron with an aggressive take, and he was fouled as he was going up. That should send him to the line. And for Edmund Santa Fe, they need something to happen quick. You know, I mean, a minute 22 in the third, this game's gone by really, really quick. And it's 31 to 15. And, you know, with the way Dell City plays defense, it, I mean, <laughs> scoring 16 points sounds pretty darn hard because you've only scored 15, and we're almost through with three. Yeah, I mean, they have to keep attacking the basket. They're not getting the perimeter shot to go. they got to somehow make their free throws. It's a tall order. But that was a good attack to the basket because you have to figure out a way to get to the free throw line if you're not able to shoot over Dell City. You need shots where you don't have to worry about their length. Shetron missed the first, and he misses them both. McMorris gets the miss, and Vili going to be the one to bring it up the floor here. And, you know, man, Santa Fe, it's just... Nothing has come easy for them tonight, not even the free shots. They've had a tough night. Sometimes it's just not your night, you know, Jordan, and 
I think that's yep. part of the thing, but I also think tonight is Dell City's night. Defensively, they have really just caused havoc for this Wolves team. Well, you know, that, that's going to be true for a lot of players, really good players tonight. Four, four teams and all lose. Whoa, Keandre Young got away with a foul there. A four teams are going to lose. It's going to be players who just have an off shooting night. Some hard pushing going on down low between Reeves and Keandre Young. Well, this is a good possession for Dell City. Keep keep the ball away from Santa Fe. Well, until that, and that's still going to be Dell City ball. Yep, it'll still be. But no need to rush anything, and right now with 33 seconds to go, they should definitely hold for the last shot here, unless they just have an easy dunk. Okay, McAllister going to inbound it right at the half-court line on the near side. Sends it down to the near corner to Young. Young going to pick up the double team, and he'll send it back up to the top of the key to Vili. Young is a hard guy to double team because he can throw the ball about just over any trap. Talon Chetron really covering Vili close all the way near half court. Finally, he's able to get rid of it to McMorris. McMorris might have got pushed in the back. No call. Referee starting to let him play here. As I say that, they call a foul on Onikuru. Yeah, I think the refs may have warned Onikuru about the hand. And then finally, they're like, okay, if you're going to have your hand on him, we're going to call it. Inbound to Young. He draws a double team and swings his elbows as he traveled. Boy, it looked like to me there was uh, some contact going both ways, but. Well, that was, I just mentioned it's hard to trap him unless, you know, you get a hand on the ball and he just doesn't want to throw over the top. He wanted to try to, to take a dribble before he made a pass there. I think that's the first time I've seen some attitude from Keandre Young. And yeah, is it wrong for me set. to say I kind of like it? Maybe a little bit, but <laughs> three seconds left. Talon Shetron going to shoot a three from the top. Off the front iron, no good. That'll do it for the third quarter. It's 31-15. to Dell City on top by 16. So, folks, stay with us. The fourth quarter coming up. Dell City trying to advance to the second round to take on Putnam City North. Stay with us on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. And we're back with you live on the Oklahoma Sports Network from Skyatook, Oklahoma. We've got some beautiful weather this week. Nothing was going to stop us from making it to state here as I will uh, tell you. You want to read it? I've been reading it this whole playoffs, but you go ahead. Okay, you want me to read it. <laughs> All right. Our second half is brought to you by CrossFit Completed Midwest City. I have to admit I have not been able to work out there much this week because of what we have going on here. I can't wait to get back there, though. They are Midwest City's premier training facility for all ages, shapes, sizes, and fitness levels. Looks like we're going to see Evan Santa Fe extend to a man defense and trap some perhaps. We'll see how Dell City handles it. McMorris has the basketball. He's covered by Reeves. Now he's going to try to attack, stop at the three-point line, and back up to give the ball to Vili. And McMorris, after his tough start, has had a very strong game. By the way, Coach Hatchett wants to call a 30-second timeout here. So he wants to see something different from his team on offense. See, you don't think much about scoring when you're up by 16 late in the, or not late, but in the fourth quarter. But you do think about having an offense in place that does not lead to short possessions or lead to transition opportunities for the other team. That's how the game can kind of get away from you. Yeah, so Dell City trying to hold on here. And play PC North tomorrow. And play, yeah, play PC North tomorrow. I kind of talked a little bit about uh, some of their players. One of their guys scored 26 points tonight. We watched him play. PC uh, North was impressive. Well, you're talking if that matchup happens, DeAndre Young and probably McMorris guarding the uh, Wonku brothers. Yeah. If I remember how to pronounce them. <laughs> Not very many teams have that type of size they can throw at those two. 
talking about the two PC North twins. But yeah, you're right. You're totally right, Jordan. And I think Dell City will match up well in that aspect. But keep in mind, PC North did beat Dell City by a good 20 points the first time they played early in the season. Dell City's not that same team anymore, though, I don't think. As now there's a block, a good block there by Santa Fe. Reeves comes flying down the floor, goes up with the left hand, and a really nice job by Reeves to go up against Terry McMorris and throw the ball off the backboard and score. It's 31-17, a much-needed basket for the Wolves. Vili has the basketball. That's it's the very thing, by the way, that last possession for Dell City, what they want to avoid. McMorris is getting harassed. I think they called a foul, and they did. I think the foul is going to go on Joe Adams. So that, the McAllister attacked the basket, but he took a very tough shot. And that led to a, a very incredible layup there made by Edwin Santa Fe. Because McMorris had it well defended. Was that Reeves who made it? Yes, it was. So Reeves has shown the ability to finish a few times here. Vili has the ball poked away, and they're going to call back backcourt violation. The referee, I don't. I thought the ball was deflected. I did too. Yeah, I didn't think that was off Vili. I thought he, maybe they thought he dribbled it off his foot or something. And he might have, but I thought it was deflected. Onikuru passes it into Reeves. Reeves has it in the backcourt, and he'll bring it in. Garrison about to check back into the basketball game. Dell City going with a 3-2 zone. Reeves has it. He's going to step in, pick up his dribble, not get the ball to Talon Chetron. Talon sends it into the corner to Adams. Now back to Chetron. Onikuru and McMorris are going to battle down there. As Adams going to shoot a corner three. Too strong, no good. And a really nice job by Javion McAllister of blocking out Onikuru. And Onikuru going to get called with, the fa called with the foul. It'll be an over-the-back call. Now that three-point shot that was attempted, that was supposed to be McMorris contesting that, but he got locked in with the post player. So Keandre Young did a good job of sliding over there. When you're playing a 3-2 zone, the corner three is usually the responsibility of the guy who's playing on that side in the lower block. Whoa. Yeah, Young with a wild pass, and it's going to be a turnover. And now Reeves slipped and fell, which is going to be a traveling call. Hopefully he's okay. Mm -hmm. See, Reeves was thinking, how can I finish over Keandre Young? And as he was thinking about that, he lost his footing. That's too bad. Yeah, he made a nice steal. It's 31 to 17 with six and a half minutes left here in the ball game. And, and Dell City just trying to hold on here. But they want to make sure and go out on a high note. Jordan, am I right? Well, yeah, they, they want to show they can handle pressure. And I mean, if they, if they make it tomorrow, which it looks like they will, but there's still time for Santa Fe, then they're going to play a PC North team that may be uh, they're, they're going to be a little more well rested because they got to they play their their game a few hours earlier. But a PC North team that's not that deep. Yeah. Also, you just you just want to develop good offensive habits here. That's the that's the thing. They've had some bad offensive possessions this game. They have not been a huge problem yet because of their defense. Young with the bounce pass to McAllister to escape the press. McAllister gets the ball into the front court. Now he turns back around. As Case and Gibson was the one covering him, tried to go for the steal, couldn't get to it. And he wants a five count. He's got it. McAllister needs to do something with the ball there. He does. Goes up for the shot and misses it. Davis does not get the rebound, and Santa, Santa Fe does. Onikuru brings the ball in the front court. Now sends a hard pass to Gibson in the corner, and he lost it. Yeah, Del City has to be relieved that Edmund Santa Fe right now is very inept on offense because Del City has been too. It's like the beginning of the game right now. Santa Fe will press. McAllister has the ball in his own backcourt. Now he's going to drive hard into the front court. Send a pass Ooh, hard down to Keandre Young. And when he did it, I think Reeves hockey checked Keandre Young, and that's what the foul was for. So Del City yeah. will inbound underneath the basket. 16 foul on Edmund Santa Fe, so the next foul. Next foul will get him in a one and one. McAllister the inbound to Davis, and Davis just goes up and catches it and scores. Yeah. Dell City finally ends their non-scoring drought, gets to 33 points. Reeves with a nice pass underneath the Talon Chetron, and Talon Chetron scores. Santa Fe not wanting to go away completely yet. Trailing by 14 in a timeout call. Five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. And the referee having a conversation here with the, with the scorekeeper. So we'll wait to see if this is a full timeout or what it is. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll stay with you.
So as, as of right now, Dell City is, is playing well defensively. There's just not been a whole lot of points scored. Like we've really said, I know we're kind of beating a dead horse here, but really it's just Dell City's not scoring the basketball very well. And that's one thing if you're if you're an Eagle fan, might concern you a little bit moving forward after this game. But again, they got to get through these last five minutes first. But, you know, going forward, Jordan, uh, that does concern me, I'll admit, just uh, the, the, fact, the fact they're not knocking down a lot of shots, though they're playing great defense. Yeah, well, you know, they – they, get, they score on that inbounds pass there because Evan Santa Fe just loses track of Davis. So it's just thinking ahead. What what can they do when PC North is at their best, if PC North is at their best? If Dell City's at their best in that game, you know, they'll still have a very good defense that will keep them in that game even if they're not hitting shots. The inbound to Vili. Vili picks up his dribble, gets the ball to McMorris. McMorris looking for some help now, gets it back to Vili. Ely brings it into the front court. He was bumped and just threw a wild pass into the lane. And Keandre Young tried to grab it. Only Kuru knocked it out of his hands, and it goes out of bounds off of him. Now, see, Dell City, they're, they're looking shaky right now against what's basically a run-and-jump defense for Edmund Santa Fe. Thing is, PC North doesn't really do that as much because they don't have a whole lot of depth, so they don't trap as often. Don't know if they will against Dell City, but they will obviously if they're trailing. Um, as, but but Dell City right now is just pretty sloppy. Even when they're attacking the basket, they're just not making the right pass, not with a whole lot of accuracy. Gibson brings the ball in the front court, gives it up to Onikuru. Onikuru gets the ball to Adams. Adams picks up his dribble. Now he sends it underneath to Talon Chetron. Talon Chetron goes up against Garrison and is able to score. And uh, look out, folks, 33-21. Dell City better get a bucket here as Keandre Young has the ball. Almost stolen away. McMorris was there to save it. Now McMorris is going to split the defenders, pick up his dribble, get it back to Vili. You almost feel like Dell City is just trying to survive at this point instead of trying to attack as Vili just attacked, as I said that, and he was fouled. They're going to say he was fouled on the floor, though, but that's the seventh foul. That should send him to the line. Yeah, you have uh, Vili, who's five foot eight, getting inside the paint. So Edmund Santa Fe really bailed him out there with that foul. That's that's what you kind of want if you're playing against Dell City. You want Vili to get in the paint and just make sure you have someone there to, to contest him. McMorris comes out of the basketball game, and Dell City is back to their four of their starters with Demarius Vili in there, who came off the bench. Vili's been playing more and more minutes as we go. Checking into the game is Aiden Vaughn for Edmund Santa Fe. The first time he's checked into the basketball game, he checks in for Gibson. Wouldn't be surprised to find out if he's a solid shooter. Vili's first free shot is good. And it was a much needed one. Dell City needed to put some more points on the board here as they had kind of gone into a drought. Second free shot, no good though. Rebounded by Onikuru. Santa Fe trying to continue their run here. Onikuru driving to the basket against Young. Goes up and he scores. So it's an 11-point game, 34-23. Dell City needs a good offensive possession here. Gilly the ball. Gets the ball to McAllister. McAllister down low to Garrison. And Garrison there for the dunk. That's how you beat the press. Right on cue. That's the best look they've had in a while. They made a great pass. They moved the ball forward very fluidly. And, yo, man, they're going to call a foul on Garrison. Garrison thought it was a clean block. I, I don't see where the foul was. I, I think he's right. That will send Reeves to the line. I think Reeves just fell down. 4-0-4 left in the ball game here. Still enough time for Santa Fe, but they're going to have to start scoring some points at a pretty high, at a pretty high rate. First free shot is no good from Reeves, and you can't have that. Checking into the game, again, is Kaysen Gibson. Aiden Vaughn came in and gave him about a minute there. Second free shot is good. 36-24, now the score. You know, whatever else happens, the fact that this game's kind of close, close enough for Santa Fe, they're still going to throw their best shot at Dell City. They're going to press, they're going to trap. It's probably good for Dell City to have this experience. Even if they struggle, they'll know, hey, we better get to work on that. A long full-court pass by Young to Vili. Vili catches it. Now he'll back it back up here. 
Good decision. Yep, good decision. Mature decision by a sophomore. Now Vili with a nice crossover move. He'll attack. He'll lose the basketball. And they're going to say it was deflected. From up here, it looked like he went off his own leg, but both referees were signaling the same thing. So that is a good indication I'm wrong there, right? Dell City has the ball. McAllister, nope, they'll switch it out. Vili going to be the one to inbound. And Dell City, I think they're going to take a full timeout here with 3.48 left, and they will. So we'll take ourselves a timeout as well. 36-24, to 24, the score, Dell City on top, 3.48 left in the ball game. Stay with us. You're watching Middell Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. The dealership Oklahomans can count on. Why can you count on them? Because they give their customers more. Oklahoma is growing, and Hudeberg is growing too, with five different brands and thousands of new and used vehicles. Hudeberg, 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 Hudeberg. Wow! It's been 60 years, and Hudeberg is still here. You can count on Hudeberg. We'll give you more. Hudeberg.com. You can count on Hudeberg. We'll give you more. Welcome back, everybody, to the Oklahoma Sports Network. It's 36-24, to 24, Dell City up on top. 3.48 left here. Fierce now joining us. Uh, it's, been <laughs> it's been a low-scoring affair. Uh, a lot of defense. Dell City has had too many blocks to count. And uh, Santa Fe's just had a lot of trouble with Dell City's size. But Dell City's not shot the ball well, which is what's kept this game relatively close at only 12 points. Vili has the basketball. And McAllister now gets it, sends it to Young. Young underneath to Davis. Davis going to go up for the dunk, and he does. He scores with a two-hand slam, and that has been a good source of offense for Dell City, the one good source of offense, as Davis dunked it over Talon Chetron. You know, they're starting to get a little comfortable against the trap. They're knowing where to throw the ball to, where they can find the open guy. There's going to be a pull-up jumper and a foul called on McAllister. Reeves sold it really well in the air. He did no. clip him, there's no doubt. So that'll be the foul. Reeves will go to the line with his team trailing by 14 points. McAllister, his second foul. That's exactly what I was going to say. So I'll say it again. He sold that foul real well. <laughs> I want to let people know tomorrow, 6A boys semifinals. Looks like we'll have a game on the Oklahoma Sports Network unless Santa Fe can make a great comeback. And uh, if that happens, we'll have the first game on the NFHS web uh, website. Yeah. You've been saying that a lot more than I have. Yep. The that would be uh, Edmund NF. Memorial and Edmund North. The NFHS Network. Vili has the basketball. It's more challenging to say than you think. Over and over again when you're used to saying Oklahoma Sports Network. That was fun today. McAllister has the ball. Sends it out to Davis. Davis right back out to Vili. And I think Dell City is looking to A, run a little clock, and B, make sure they get a good shot off here on this possession. Is Vili going to attack? Vili was fouled. He was being ridden all the way to the basket as he's looking at his arm to make sure there's no blood. Must have gotten scratched. He'll head to the line. Vili is an important guy for Dell City, especially against pressing defenses, against trap defenses. You want a sure ball handler in there. He's shown the ability in the past to, uh, even though he's shorter than most players he goes up against, he can throw over the top and find the open man. First free shot, good from Vili. He's probably more of a true point guard than McAllister is, so he's really important going forward this this next game, maybe two games for Dell City. Forty to twenty-four, our score. Dell City up by sixteen. Oni Kuru on the take with a nice reverse left hand layup, score. Forty to twenty-six, and a timeout called by Edmund Santa Fe. Two forty-five left. They just want to get their defense set up. So they're making full. subs. Look well, yeah, and that is to get the defense set up. It is a full timeout, so we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Middell Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Did you get that new F-150? Yep. Where'd you go? 
Greg Darnell Ford. How was it? Darn good! We've got darn good deals with 0% interest for 72 months on most 2020 models. F-150s as low as $459 a month. Escapes as low as $349 a month. Fusions as low as $319 a month. There's a new sheriff in town, and I'm laying down the law on low prices. Back live with you on the Oklahoma Sports Network. 2.45 left in the game. Dell City leads by 14, 40 to 26. Dell City has possession, and they'll inbound from underneath their own goal. It's Keandre Young inbounding. Santa Fe obviously going to go to a press. They've been doing it quite a bit for the second half. V lead the ball, brings it into the front court. He's being challenged by Gibson. Gets the ball to McAllister. McAllister right back to him. Callister down to Keandre Young. Young tried to go down to uh, McMorris on the back door, but the ball went off of a Santa Fe player out of bounds with 2.26 left. So we'll see what type of baseline out of bounds play Dell City runs. Last time they ran one, they got uh, Davis. Sherrod Davis wide open under the basket. McAllister the ball to Young. Young catches and shoots the fadeaway jumper and puts it in 42 to 26. It would be such a huge deal for Dell City if he can start making that shot with some consistency again. He has not shot the ball great from the perimeter the last few games. That's, that's the type of shot he can hit on a regular basis because he has earlier in the season. Talking about Keandre Young. Going to the basket, or going to the free throw line rather, is Talon Chetron. While he's there, I need to take a minute and say thank you uh, to our camera guy tonight. He is a uh, Tulsa native. Mr. Gary Mack, Gary showed up and uh, helped us out. We really appreciate his help tonight. Absolutely. Talon Shetron at the line, and Crutchfield going to check in for Davis here. 2.09 left. It's an interesting sub. I mean, obviously, there's still, still two minutes of basketball to play. Free shot is missed. It's McAllister who tracks it down as it was getting close to being a, uh, an offensive board there. And now Dealey falls to his feet and he was tripped. The referee signaled that he was tripped there, and so he will uh, go to the line. Dealey spending a lot of time on the line, and I got to tell you, Dealey's had some pretty good minutes tonight. Yes, he has. He had a big. Uh, I think any three Dell City hits is big because they don't hit that many, so he hit one in the first half. And uh, it's interesting that Crutchfield's in, so I guess they're, they're trying to get him going. Is Dell City, and you know they have three subs that uh, could really make the difference for them going forward. Dealey's one, so is Crutchfield, and then also um, Foreman, JD on Foreman. So mm -hmm. he he didn't play as well in this game, but he could be counted on for big minutes against PC North. As we see uh, Edmund Santa Fe player fouls out. Yep. Uh, Colby Onikuru, yep. and uh, he is a senior, so he just played his last minutes, and what a career it was for Colby. Best of luck to that young man moving forward and, and whatever uh, future endeavors that he has. He's a heck of a basketball player, and obviously pretty well liked by his teammates. An emotional moment. You know, it's never easy to know that you may never play with these guys again, or you will never play with these guys again, at least at a competitive level. And so yeah. it's always hard. It's always difficult. That's the one thing about watching State. It's uh, so much fun to see these teams win, but it's tough to see the teams lose sometimes, and uh, it's just part of the game. Jaden Sincata with the board. He sends it forward to Talon Chetron, and Reeves going to shoot the three. No good. It's a great job there by Crutchfield to bat that ball forward and get it to McMorris, and McMorris was fouled after he was able to catch the basketball. So I'll shoot a couple free throws. 43-27 is the score as it stands as McMorris is headed to the line. Yeah, but a lot of players today have played their last game. Of course, four teams are going to fall short, and yeah. it's very rare you see a team that has no key seniors, although that will be the case next year for Dell City. Yeah. They're, all the players in the rotations are either seniors or sophomores, so well, next year will not be a senior-led team. However, they, they're 
a good chance to be back in 5A. And you know, so if they are with those sophomores they have, they, they have a great chance of getting back to state in 5A. Speaking of 5A, Carl Albert got a bye today. And for those Middell fans, they'll be playing in the semifinals tomorrow afternoon. I believe it's 2 o'clock at Owasso. Vaughn for three. No good, but a good job by Joe Adams to track down the miss and go up and score. 44-29, a minute and a half left in the fourth. And now the ball was a wild pass. McAllister was able to get it. Now he sends it forward to McMorris. McMorris gets a couple of defenders in the air, goes up, scores, and he's fouled. And Terry McMorris will go to the line to make this a three-point play. And if there was any hope for uh, Santa Fe, I think that probably did it there as they now lead the game by 17. You know, there's one major difference, I bet, in Dell City from when they played PC North back in December to now. It's been the development of Terry McMorris. Yeah. And he'll be real important for that team tomorrow. Yep. Whoever his defensive assignment is. You're right. It will, will be a tough one. One of the Awanku brothers. Percy Green checks into the game for Dell City. His first time entering the ball game tonight. He's another player that can uh, really develop his game as Joe Adams knocks down the jumper. Nice shot there. That type of mid-range pull-up jumper is a shot that Evan Santa Fe really could have used throughout this game. Three-point jumper by Percy, no good. Foreman gets the miss, though, and he goes up, and he scores off the glass. Now Vaughn going to get a chance with the right hand. I think he was fouled, and he was. Foreman fouled him, pretty hard foul, too. And Vaughn will have to go to the line to earn these. Aiden looks like he's a little shaken up, but hopefully he's okay. Yeah, but you know what? I have to give it up to Foreman for catching up there because he was the one who scored on the other end, and he, he got back on defense pretty fast there. Yeah, you like the hustle. I think Coach Hatch is telling him they'll be, you know, we don't need to be fouling like that at this point of the game, though. Foreman is a young player. He's a, an exciting player in football. You know, we talk a lot about uh, – about him, and only a sophomore has a lot of offers. Memphis, one of the teams that's uh, already offered Jaden, he's a yeah. And I know that's true for a few of these Edmond Santa Fe players. They made state in football, and a lot of their basketball players played in football as well. So right, I don't know. I, I didn't catch who all is definitely going to be playing football at the next level, perhaps. But I wouldn't be surprised if, like for example, Om Karu is one of them, or Anya Karu. All right. And you know what? I'm looking at the wrong roster for Santa Fe. They have a pronunciation guide, so <laughs> on a crew. I was looking at a different roster that didn't have that. Now, they didn't give a pronunciation for their head coach, Troy uh, Lalamand. So I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right. But I have to say, and if I, I'm not, I really apologize because he was a pleasure to deal with these last few, uh, those last couple of days. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, he's one of the only, Edmund Santa Fe is the only opposing team that we've covered that has a roster that has that pronunciations for their players and I wasn't unfortunately using it because I had another <laughs> roster with notes on it but um, it happens he's been he was great to talk to and he's, he's he helped me out by giving me a couple phone numbers of other coaches you know he's originally from Kansas and yep. is uh, was a baseball player played college baseball and he got the coaching job doing basketball and you know, he's really done a good job uh, at Edmond Santa Fe and will continue to do a good job. He's a young coach. Yeah, I think he'll I think he'll have him really going next year. And this is a good year for him. They hosted a regional and made state. Three-point jumper is good from Lamonte Pulliam. That little too too little too late there. The first three, I think Edmond Santa Fe has this game. The Kalen Godwin in the ball game. He could be playing some quarterback for Dell City next year. He did come in and play some quarterback at times this season. Little undersized, but he is a good athlete, can really run, and has a nice arm. A quick release, and he'll go to the line with 18.6 seconds left. 51 34 the score. Dell City uh, just playing out the last few seconds here, but they will be moving on, and they will take on Putnam City North tomorrow night. At 8 30. Yes, at 8 30. Thanks, Jordan. And we'll, uh, we'll be covering that basketball game. We're looking forward to it. Since you mentioned that, congratulations to the new Dell City football coach. And you remember his first, his whole name? I don't have it off the tip of my tongue. Was it uh, Robert? Oh, you forget. Okay. I'm drawing a blank, and I know his name. I apologize, folks. It's been a long day for us. We it's played been we called four straight games. Not, not the best excuse ever, but it is a reason. 
Coach Jones. Robert Jones. Robert Jones. I'm sorry, Coach Jones. I should know that. I apologize. I know your name. Congratulations either way. Jordan, you put me in a bad spot. <laughs> this is what happens when the game's decided. <laughs> 52-36, and that'll do it for the fourth quarter, and Dell City will advance to the second round, and they did it in a good fashion tonight, played really well defensively, and they'll have a tough matchup tomorrow night at 8 against uh, Putnam City North at 8.30. Hopefully you'll tune in to us if you can't make it to the game. Obviously it is a long drive because it will be here at Sky it took, but uh, hey, best, best wishes to Edmund Santa Fe. Thank you to the Edmund Santa Fe folks who, who tuned in tonight. We wish you the best. Appreciate you joining us. And uh, Jordan, I'll, I'll send it to you for some close, uh, closing statements, and, and then we'll sign out. First off, we want to thank the people at Sky it took. They really, um, really helped us. We had a very good table. We had uh, internet access that was great. And so uh, we really enjoyed the time here. We look forward to coming back tomorrow for two games. Now let's go ahead and show you this. We did not put in the score yet for Dell City, but we know they won. Final score is 52-36. And uh, that's the bracket for 6A boys. Edmund Memorial playing Edmund North. I believe that game will start at 6.30. Dell City at PC North, 8.30. By the way, if you're in the Tulsa area or you want to watch Middell basketball, Carl Albert boys got a bye again today because their opponent uh, had a COVID positive test result. Hate to see a season in that way. Yeah, that's but tough. It, but it did. And Carl Albert, who has avoided COVID all season, to their credit, as they wear masks during games and hasn't affected them at all, they will go up against Ardmore tomorrow at 2 p.m. here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. So we look forward to having that game for you on the Carl Albert channel, and I wouldn't be surprised if that game is on Facebook as well. A lot to look forward to tomorrow on the boys' side. Dell City in 6A, Carl Albert in 5A. And, oh, hold on, let me check. Lawton MacArthur. We sometimes forget about them because we're mid Dell, but Lawton MacArthur looks like they are going to win if they haven't already. They're up by 16 uh, on the score I'm looking at, so that may, that may be updated here in a moment, but... That's another one that will be on the Oklahoma Sports Network. All right, Jordan, thank you. And, again, a uh, big thank you to Gary, our uh, camera operator from Tulsa. He stepped up and did us uh, a huge favor today. We appreciate him. And, Jordan, uh, like always, good to be here with you. And we've had a long day but a fun day. And it's, uh, you know, you can have a long day in the office and be miserable. But when you're broadcasting basketball, it can be long and you're still going to have a good time. So yep. thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Dell City wins.